So I have ran into this recently and I need to send a big file through Yahoo Mail and of course I hit that attachment limit. So I dug around, tested a few things and this is by far the easiest way I've found to get around it. It's not sponsored or anything, just a quick guide and uh, hopefully this would save you some frustration and time. So in the past is that when you attach a big file here in Yahoo Mail, for example, this one right here, as you can see, it says attachment is too large. And after this, it would offer you to do it in Google Drive or Dropbox or WeTransfer instead. But as of now, I don't know why, but it's gone. It's not offering me to go into that uh, method anymore. So I just click on OK and then that's it. So basically, the easiest way that I've found to work around is to just simply go into the Google Drive and then just simply upload a file in here. And then, for example, this file, I'm just going to right um, click on that. And then now just click here on a share or you could click here and copy the link if it's already in public or you could click here on the share icon. And from here, you can choose the access. You can go for restricted or anyone with the link. And then you could also add specific people while it's restricted. In that way, only these people would be able to access the file if you'd want to. But in my case, I'm happy with anyone with the link. And then now I can set the permission. And then click here on copy link once you're all good. And basically just paste it right here. Now, you could also do this with other platforms like Dropbox, like WeTransfer, and uh, many more other platforms. Basically, the same process. You just upload it into their platform, copy the link or sharing link from there, and just um, paste it here into Yahoo Mail. Now, if you don't want it to be this big link, you can just go and um, highlight it just like that. And then now you want to click on it and click here and edit. And then you can just change the text. Like maybe um, click here. Or, um, or download here, maybe something like that. And yeah, that's it. I have now attached the file in here. And basically when they click on this link, they will now be taken into this um, link. And then they would now be able to download the file in here that I have attached by clicking here on the download button and so on. So yeah, this is the only workaround that I have found here in Yahoo Mail and this is the most convenient one. So I hope this video has helped you out in going over this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.